Hello everyone. So since we're talking about cooking today, I thought I'll try my best at a medieval recipe. And what I have chosen is a rose wine, a rosatum, from the late 4th century, early 5th century um, cookbook Tere Cucinaria. Um, by the late Roman author Apicius. So I already prepared one of these. So that is wine mixed with uh, rose petals. But I'll try different ratios between wine and rose petals. Because of course in the recipe there is no, um, there are no exact measurements. And I'm also using dried rose petals, which I bought from eBay, uh, not from eBay, from Amazon, and not fresh ones, as is suggested in the recipe. So I've taken seven grams of dried rose petals, and this is 150 milliliters of wine. I'm mixing them. Oops, sorry. So then I will leave it in the fridge for five to seven days. And of course, with one hand, I can't really close that. Well, professional movie making right here. And after five to seven days, I will take those old rose petals out, replace them with new ones. And I think I do it in three times in total. Then I'll sweeten the wine with some honey and then we'll try it. I'm excited. So I ended up making three batches, one with 10 grams of rose petals one with seven and one with four and now i'll put them in the fridge and we'll see how they turn out so a little update they have been in the fridge for i think five days and they look amazing so what i will do now is change the rose paddles and then I will put it back in the fridge. One eternity later. I think it's time to look at them. So here they are. And I think they look pretty good. The left one is the one with 10 grams of rose petals. That one here in the middle is the one with seven and that one here the one with four grams and I think you can see that the colors are slightly different this one here is a little darker than this one and this one is a little lighter than the one in the middle so and I think it's time to taste them and only drink like a little bit because I only have so much it seems like a lot of the liquid stayed in the rose paddles but yeah um, let's see okay it is kind of sweet um but also bitter in the aftertaste um it sort of reminds me of when you leave a tea bag too long in your tea so this is the second one Mm -hmm. Yeah, same aftertaste, but that one is slightly, slightly fresher. Mm. The last one, that tastes almost the same as the one before that. But we're not quite done yet. In the recipe it says you should put in a little honey to sweeten it. 
So I'll try to do that. Oh, I don't want to put in too much honey. It's over sweeten it, but I guess I'll try with this. That's, I don't know, maybe a third of a teaspoon. Put it in there. So the sort of bitter aftertaste that sticks in your entire mouth is not going away even though I put in some honey. So what I'm trying to do is put in some water. As you know, probably at least, um, ancient Romans and ancient Greeks drank their wine sort of watered down, mixed with water at a ratio of one to one, more or less. But I will give it a little Viennese twist because how we like to drink our wine, at least in the summer, is with sparkling water. And I feel like that might be um, might be nice with this rose wine as well. Let's see. So I'm adding the water. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. That's actually a lot better. The aftertaste is gone. It's very sweet still. Tastes like roses. You can't taste the wine at all. Maybe it's a little bit too much water. So maybe it's not one to one, but maybe one to, I don't know, half. But yeah, I like it. Um, I think it's a good summer drink. Oh. Leave some for later. So I think I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, I will put up an exact recipe on canvas or somewhere. But even though I only had the rose petals in for about a third, like half of the time that is suggested by um, the recipe. I think it's still too rosy almost. So you can definitely use less rose petals and for a shorter time. How much honey you want to put in there sort of depends on your own taste. I gave it to two of my friends um, and one version was with a third of a tablespoon of honey and the second version with a second uh, third of a tablespoon of honey. And one of my friends liked it more with less honey and one liked it more with more honey. So I guess it's more up to your own, um, your own preferences. So what I was really um, astonished by is that you can't taste the wine at all. It would be a good idea even to to change the ratio, have less rose petals, more wine, something one could experiment with. But I think it's definitely a good like, summer drink or something, sitting outside, um, letting the, the sun shine on your face, having a glass of this with a lot of ice. Um, yeah, I can definitely see that being a thing. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and like and subscribe. No, don't like and subscribe. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, see you in class.